regx or regexp, which is more proper since it's short for regular expressions, is a specialized language for matching patterns in strings. There's a complexity to regular expressions that intimidate many people. The symbols are recognizable ASCII text characters, but their format can look quite confusing and confounding. So why should you even learn about regular expressions? Actually, you don't need to ever use regex to be successful in writing software code. But as a useful tool in your arsenal, regex is one of the few things that translates directly across almost all programming languages. So demonstrating even a familiarity with regular expressions can often mark you as a code ninja. The regular moniker comes from the fact that there's a well-defined structure to define patterns. When described with a regular expression, a pattern can be matched, replaced, or stored and then reapplied to be matched again. There are subtle differences among the various standards in regular expression dialects, but we need not go into that level of detail here. Regular expressions use standard characters. These characters should be familiar to you. Their significance, however, is quite different from what you've come to know. Seeing all these characters squeezed together in a bizarre pattern is one of the aspects of regular expressions that cause some people consternation. The meta characters used in regular expressions are divided into a few categories. There are literals, the actual text to be searched, classes, which are groups of characters that are related, and quantifiers. The literals represent the actual characters you want to match. They can be further qualified with logical operators. You can apply a not or an or. The classes are common or related sets of characters that can be defined in a regular expression with a shorthand. The, these are so common, there's even a sort of a shorthand notation for the shorthand. Any set of patterns within the regular expression can be designated to repeat a specific number of times. This allows for more sophisticated searches. These special modifiers are called quantifiers because they specify a quantity. And, of course, there is a wild card for both the classes and the quantifiers. So now let's demonstrate. Like anything that is complex, if you can break it down into small pieces, the complexity seems to dissipate. We'll begin at a simple level and then dig just a little deeper. Hopefully this will be enough to illustrate the power of regular expressions. Because regular expressions can apply almost equally to many different languages, we will look at some JavaScript. That's a very common language that's understood by most web professionals. I'm using a JS Fiddle, and here is the, uh, the URL to find that if you want to go play on your own. Remember those wildcards we mentioned earlier? The dot represents any character, and the splat or star is used to indicate any quantity. This means the simplest of regular expressions is dot splat. This will match any single character any number of times, including zero times. That's not very useful, but it offers us a starting point. Let's limit this just a little. See how this affects the evaluation? Now let's use a character class. But that only showed us lowercase letters because we only specified lowercase letters. In both these previous cases, it only showed the first word. But now if we add a space, it will evaluate the space also. Remember, the regular expression evaluates the precise pattern you provide. Nothing is assumed. By adding that space in our pattern, we now match all spaces. Can you predict what this will return? Try it for yourself. JS Fiddle is a great 
way to experiment with things like this. There's a lot more. Uh, perhaps in another installment we can dive a bit deeper into more detail. This little knowledge should provide you confidence to go explore a bit more on your own. Thanks very much.